Good day to everyone. In this video, we will be learning about one of the important topics that is about the payment gateway. Nowadays, most of the transactions it is being done through the online, whether it is the online recharge or the online shopping in the e-commerce website or the application or while making the payment for the insurance premium or by ordering the food in online or the grocery items and also by, for ordering the healthcare products and for ticket bookings everywhere we are using the online mode hence they started giving more importance for this payment gateway the payment gateway it is a technology that securely processes and authorizes the credit card or the debit card or any other forms of electronic payment for online businesses it acts as the intermediary between the merchant website and the financial institution that is involved in the transaction such as banks and credit card networks now let us first understand some of the terminologies of payment gateway first is merchant merchant he is a person or a company who is selling the product to the customer who is selling the product in the online platform he is called as the merchant next is credit or debit card or the upi or the through wallet or the online banking these are all the sources through which we can make the payment in online in credit card and debit card we will be having the information like card number uh, name of the bank and the name of the card holder cvv expiry date and much more information all these details they are present because whenever the data is entered in the uh, online platform this data it is uh, verified in the backend server it will check and validate if the information is valid data or invalid data next is acquiring bank acquiring bank it is a financial institution it maintains or manages the merchant's bank merchant accounts are necessary for funds to be deposited in the business bank account after a successful transaction next is issuing bank issuing bank it is the financial institution which will approve or decline the customer transaction it will check the details entered by the customer whether it is a valid or not and it will also check if the customer if he is having the sufficient balance for this transaction or not next is transaction transaction means it is a end to end process where in the merchant he will receive the money which is transferred by the customer and also the customer he will receive the money which is transferred by the merchant in this case it will happen when the product is returned and it need to be refunded next is authorization it is the process of verifying that the customer payment method it has the sufficient funds to cover the cost of transaction that means whenever the customer want to make a purchase the payment gateway it will contact the issuing bank of the customer's payment method and it will ensure that the funds are available and if it is available it will place a hold on these funds it ensures that the funds are reserved for this transaction during this process the funds they are only put on hold next is capture once the authorization has been done the action of transferring the funds from the customer account to the merchant account it is called as the capture next is settlement once the funds they have been captured they are settled that means the funds they have successfully transferred to the merchant's account next we'll see how the transaction flow it will happen here you can see a flow chart of how the transaction flow will happen when the customer when he wants to purchase a product he will select a product and he will proceed to place the order when he clicks on place order and then he will be redirected to a page wherein he will need to fill the shipping and the billing details and also he need to select the mode of payment and when he enters the details of the mode of payments that is of the debit card or the credit card and then when he clicks on pay now or the submit button now the information it will be passed to the payment gateway now the encrypted information in the payment gateway it will be passed to the acquiring bank since it is an encrypted uh, information 
no one will be able to steal the information such as the card details or the online payment login id or password or any other confidential information which is provided by the customer next the acquiring bank it will forward the information to the issuing bank to check if he is having the sufficient balance or not and if it is available then it will block or put a hold on the required amount now the issuing bank it will verify the transaction and if everything is correct and if he has the sufficient fund then the authorization is approved and the response code it will be sent to the acquiring bank and the payment it will be processed and the success message will be displayed to the customer if there is insufficient fund in the customer account and if the authorization fails then the response code it will be sent to the acquiring bank and the payment fail message it will be displayed to the customer next we'll see how the transaction flow will happen when the customer he wants to cancel the order or he is not happy with the product and he wants to return the product and get the refund amount now the customer he will request for the cancellation of the order or for the return of the product if he had made the payment online then it will be captured and the refund amount it will be processed shortly but what if it is not captured then the system it will check sometimes the customer he would have chosen the cash on delivery and if he cancels the order before it is being delivered then the transaction would have not captured here in such cases there would be no question of the refund and it will be treated as void or rejected this is how the transaction flow will happen there are many payment gateways like uh, paypal razer pay atom cc avenue or the bill desk like this we have many payment gateways in our next video we'll see why we need to do the payment gateway testing and what are all the types of testing we do for the payment gateway thank you for watching our video please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of our video or updates thank you